Hello friends, my name is Tejendra Rajangad. Here I am discussing the objective solution of polyphase objective solution of PS Bimbra for polyphase induction machine from question number 11 to question number 20. Next video is coming soon for the synchronous machine and coming soon coming soon solutions are power electronics for PS Bimbra EMFT and Matthew and Osadu Q and unsolved problem of electromagnetic storm series outline and many more solution. So don't forget to subscribe Rapstead Tech Education. Okay. Now to the question number 11. The relative speed between the magnetic field of the stator and rotor under a steady state operation is zero. For a DC machine, three phase induction machine, three phase synchronous generator, three phase synchronous motor. Now come to the solution. Before going to solve this problem, we have to study the uh, study the magnetic lines flow in an s magnet the uh, in the magnet magnetic lines are flown flow from s to n but outside the magnet magnetic lines are flow from n to s n to s so remember these two statement okay now come to the <coughs> now this is the dc machine diagram where main field main field flow from n to s that is the outside the magnet and now we all know that armature mmf armature flux setup like this so the flux is set up due to this due to this flux the n and s pole are created like this here the magnetic lines are flow inside the magnet so magnetic lines are flow from s to n now due to this these in, uh, pole introduced due to the armature flux now now uh, yes we have seen s pole is attract n pole and this n pole attract s pole now due to this the relative motion no 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 not relative motion the action reaction force developed in the armature rotating magnetic field and rotor due to this are the rotor of the dc machine rotate in this direction why in this direction because of action reaction force in between the armature flux and rotor so rotor is rotated in this direction but rotor magnetic armature flux flux position and rotor flux position is not changed it is always at this position so the relative motion in between these two field is zero so the dc machine is correct now come to the induction machine as we all know that uh, stator magnetic field is rotated at 1500 rpm for the four poles three phase uh, three phase 50 hertz machine which is 1500 rpm now due to this uh, now the, due to the slip rotor magnetic field rotate 60 rpm with respect to rotor structure and rotor is rotated at 1440 rpm now due to this we have seen that rotor is rotate at 1500 rpm with respect to stator but rotor is rotate with respect to stator magnetic field is 0 rpm okay so the statement 2 is also correct now come to the synchronous generator this is the synchronous generator and synchronous motor both are same thing so the we discuss for the both point okay now we all know that stator magnetic field is rotate at synchronous speed okay this is the stator supply okay and this will rotate this will uh, used to rotate the stator magnetic field at synchronous speed that is uh, 3000 for two pole machine okay and this is the rotor where n and s pole are created from the dc supply due to this this n s pole these are fixed pole fixed pole and stator magnetic field rotate in this direction at a synchronous speed due to the synchronization between the s pole and s pole and rotor pole and stator pole both are rotate at same it is that is the synchronous speed for the synchronization both stator and rotor field are rotate at the same speed so the relative motion in between these two field is zero so the for the synchronous generator and synchronous motor both fields are uh, relatively zero speed okay so the statement one two three four are correct so the option a is correct now come to the question number 12 the mma produced by the rotor current of the three phase induction motor these are the option a b c d now come to the solution 
as we all know that stator magnetic field is rotated at 1500 rpm for the four pole 50 hertz induction motor and rotor is rotated at 1440 rpm due to slip of 60 rpm that is 120 sf upon p s is the slip now rotor magnetic field rotate at 60 rpm with respect to rotor structure okay and rotor magnetic field rotate at 1500 rpm with respect to stator structure and rotor magnetic field rotate at 0 rpm with respect to stator with respect to stator magnetic field so the this statement is correct it is uh, so MMA produced by rotor current of the three phase induction motor is at stand still with respect to stator AM, MMF. Now come to the question number 13. If the rotor of the power factor rotor, if the rotor power factor of three phase induction motor is 0.866, then spatial displacement between the stator magnetic field and rotor magnetic field will be. These are the options. Now come to the solution. This is the flux in the stator magnetic field. Due to this flux, E1 and E2S EMF are reduced, are developed at 90 degree leg. Why 90 degree leg? Due to the E equals to minus and d5 by dt. That is Lenz law. Okay. Now due to this, now due to this armature current, rotor current developed. This rotor current leg by theta 2 from E2 EMF developed in that winding okay now due to theta 2 and theta 2 equals to cos theta 2 equals to 0.886 now theta 2 equals to 30 degree we all know that from the uh, question so and due to the this rotor current rotor magnetic field rotor mmf develop in same direction because of n into ia okay due to this now this angle between these two field 90 plus theta 2 so the theta 2 is equal to 30 degree and this is the 90 so the angle in between these two field theta 190 plus 30 that is 120 okay so the c option is correct now come to the question number 14 the stator of the six pole three phase induction motor is fed from three phase 50 hertz supply which contain a pronounced 50 fifth harmonics okay the speed of the fifth space harmonic field produced by the fifth time harmonic in the stator supply will be now come to the solution due to the time harmonics frequency is n times so the speed of the magnetic field n s equals to 120 n f upon p so the speed is 5000 rpm now due to the space harmonic when b wave is not sinusoidal then space harmonics are present now due to the space harmonic virtual pole are created in b wave and we all know that poles are inversely proportional to synchronous speed so due to this speed is reduced n times so so the rotating magnetic field due to the space harmonic that is fifth harmonics speed is 200 rpm but it is an opposite direction of main field now both field are different thing okay now the now the speed due to the time harmonics is 5000 and these time harmonics are produced in the sub in due to the supply current and space harmonic due to the b wave is not sinusoidal okay so both are different okay so the speed due to the time harmonics is 5000 okay so the statement so due to this option d is correct now come to the question number 15 a six pole 50 hertz wound rotor induction motor uh, motor when supply at a rated voltage and frequency with slip ring open circuited developed a voltage of 50 uh, developed the voltage of 100 volt any tube slip ring if the rotor is driven by external means at 1000 rpm opposite direction to the stator magnetic field this is the important line okay the frequency of voltage across the sleeping will be this is the simple question now come to the solution as mentioned in the question six pole 50 hertz motor 
which is rotated the stator magnetic field is rotated at 1000 rpm which is obtained from the 120 f upon p okay and the rotor is rotated at 1000 rpm 